Hey guys, this is Mike, and you are watching the Wooly Bug YouTube channel. It is Saturday, December 28th, 2019. So, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone. I appreciate you guys watching, and I have more videos coming in 2020. So, if you watch the channel, you'll know I've taken a break for the past two, three months. There were a couple of reasons for that. One, I wanted to take a break from social media and recharge the soul and two and more importantly the wild trout here in the east spawn from October up through mid-December and I wanted to allow adequate time for them to do their thing and as I move into the winter months and into the early spring as I fish for these brook trout I'll be watching where I'm walking trying to stay to the banks on top of rocks and avoid areas where they would have deposited eggs. Those eggs go down into the substrate and then they'll develop as we move into the new year. So something to think about, but I'm excited to be back out here. I'm talking to you from a tributary to the Rapidan River in Virginia. I'm in the Shenandoah National Park in the Blue Ridge Mountains on the east slope. It's about 8 a.m. in the morning and it's just stunning out here. I've never fished down here before for wild brook trout. I've had some acquaintances telling me I need to check it out. So I finally made the trip here. And it's been mild temps for late December over the past week. Uh, last night the temps were only down into the 40s. And today the high is supposed to reach 60 degrees, believe it or not. Which is amazing because just two weeks ago we had ice on many of the ponds, lakes, and streams in Pennsylvania. So that has gradually warmed the water temps down here. And although it's not springtime water temps, it ought to have the fish more active than usual. So looking forward to it. If you can hear the noises here, this stream comes down a pretty good descent through the mountains. So I'm expecting a lot of pools. I'm gonna be nymphing if I see fish up on the indicator, I will change to a dry dropper setup. If you ever come down here, make sure you check the regs. Uh, you need some different things depending on where you're at in Virginia as far as licenses go. But guys, let's go see if we can catch my first wild brook trout in the state of Virginia. I'll show you guys what I'm using and we'll explore up here into the mountains. As we move into 2020, you will see me occasionally fish this Yamame Pure Series 7 foot 3 weight fiberglass fly rod. This rod was rolled by Mike McFarland here in the States and handcrafted by Nico Vandergroot, the owner of Yamame fly rods in the Netherlands. He had reached out to me a few months ago and he said, Mike, if you pair this with an approach Genesis fly reel, this will be one of the most amazing mountain brook trout tools you'll ever use and boy was he right the performance on this thing is incredible it's paired with a 406 fly line and nico can handcraft every aspect of this rod the real seat the type of cork and setup the color the eyelets everything's handcrafted and this one is handcrafted for woolly bugs so check out yamameflyrods.com see what he's all about
Gonna start out nymphing today using this size 16 gold beadhead Psycho Prince nymph tied on a barbless hook. I have that attached to an 18 inch piece of 5X tippet. And because I'm expecting some deeper pulls today, I do have a number 10 Dinsmore split shot on there. That goes up to a tippet ring that is then attached to a seven and a half foot 5X scientific angler leader. And I've customized that to make it shorter so I can get the fly line out the last eyelet of this shorter seven foot rod. Let's go fish.
Well, the sun sets quickly here over these mountains in Virginia, and I'm pretty far back this tributary, so I need to hike out of here. It was an amazing day. I can't say enough about how beautiful Shenandoah National Park is. You have to come see it if you haven't. I was surprised by how technical the fishing was on this water. Working these currents around these rocks is a challenge, especially using an indicator in nymphs. I uh, didn't break out the dry fly today. I did run into a couple other fishermen who had caught a couple on the dry fly. Didn't have many fish up on the indicator. Uh, several obstacles here. One, uh, there are hikers on the trail. I had a couple of folks with dogs that ran into the water which made it tough because they were spooking fish and I don't know how many times that was happening above me. And then of course there were some other fishermen but it wasn't really high pressure but these fish definitely get fished to you know compared to some of the brook trout streams I fish in PA that you know you've seen on video it wasn't non-stop takes uh, even in the large plunge pools but if you take your time and you work the water you will catch fish and I was surprised by the sheer number of fish in some of these deeper holes there were many many brook trout so really healthy habitat here beautiful place so before I go the first person to leave a comment on this video and name the president of the United States that built a camp on the Rapidan River you will win this Yamame fly rod flask free of charge I'll ship it to you uh, you probably should be a whiskey drinker, or at least have somebody in your family who drinks it. So, this is yours. First person to guess right in the comments. Guys, it was great to be back out in the water, and you should see me a little more frequently here moving into 2020. So, Happy New Year. I'll see you in 2020.